Diagnosing Bosch 4-wire mass airflow or MAF sensor issues on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 99-2007. If you've got lack of power, poor roof, hesitant or shunting acceleration, poor idle, stalling, black smoke from the exhaust, uh, coupled with higher fuel consumption, then the MAF sensor could be at fault. It may not be working at all, or you could be experiencing intermittent problems, or it could be giving incorrect data to the ECU. So before you go out and buy a new MAF sensor, it's probably worth doing a few simple tests to verify whether it's working correctly or not. Here's the MAF sensor connection and housing unit protruding from a connection between the intake pipe and the air box where your filter is. Turn the car off. The first test you should do is undo the clip at the bottom of the electrical connection, take it off and then run it to see if it gets worse. If it does, then you can assume the MAF is actually working, but it still may be giving out the wrong reading, which we can test further. Turn the car off and take the keys out of the ignition. If there is no difference and it's running the same, then the MAF may not be working at all and may need replacing. Or the electrical supply may be at fault, so we need to test that with a multimeter. Take the little plastic protection cover off the cables by unclipping it on the front and round at the back. And then it just unhinges in the middle. Pull it up. And then just slides off. Quite a nifty little cover that. 10 out of 10 for the designer who invented that. Just clips together like, like so. And you must refit this to stop any water ingress. If we look on the top of the connector, we can see a series of numbers. On this one, it's one to five, etched into the plastic, just here, which help to identify each wire that is also color coded. On this particular Fabia, there are four wires going into a five connection unit with the first connection in position one being blanked off with a little green plug. If yours has a wire going into this, then I believe it's the intake air temperature sensor that goes in here. Connection number two with the slightly larger black and yellow wire is the 12 volt supply. Connection number three with the grey and red wire is the ground. Connection number four with the green and red wire is the 5 volt reference. And finally, the connection number five with the grey and white wire is the signal wire. So now we want to test the cable supplying the unit to make sure that works. So you want a suitable multimeter that will read volts DC. Then disconnect the cable with the little clip underneath. Go into the car and turn the power on to position 2. Set your meter to volts DC on the correct range to read 12 volts. Then place your positive lead in connection number 2 and the end of the connector that you've taken off and test it to ground of the, the negative terminal on the battery and you should get somewhere around 12 volts. If you're not getting this, then you want to test the cable going into the connector at the back in case the connection in the connector is faulty. If there's still no joy, then you've got to check the cable and of course you've got to make sure the fuses are working. If everything's okay there, then test the same connection number two to connection number three, the, the ground in the connector, and you should get the same 12 volts. If you're not, then you've got to suspect the ground wire hasn't got continuity back to the battery, which you can of course test separately with your meter set to ohms. Check the 5 volt reference wire, which should be 5 volts, between connection number 4 and ground on the battery. And as all these seem to be fine, I'll go on to now test the signal wire. Turn the ignition off. 
Now you need to remove a little blue plug in the connection on number five and I found you can do this with a, a sharp instrument like um, a paper clip which we can actually use later and reconnect the connector to the housing then you can either put the positive lead of the probe directly on the back of the signal wire or you can insert a paper clip like so meter set to volts DC positive lead on contact number 5 the signal wire and negative to ground of course turn the engine on right and let the car idle and in this case it's idling at around 2.35 volts with an ambient temperature around 5 degrees centigrade and starting from a cold engine you're looking for this figure to be quite stable which it is and when you rev it up it should go up in a linear fashion and not jump about wildly which again it seems to be okay but I've got no reference figures to set this against as this is the first time I've done it on this engine and, and still has the original MAF sensor in place and I don't think it needs replacing at all but I will attempt to uh, clean the MAF sensor which I'll cover in another video just to see if it makes any difference to the readings on the multimeter and how the car runs itself so don't forget to tune in as a follow up to this one Push the little blue silicon bung back in with a suitable implement and wrap around and clip on the outer shield. And thank you for watching.